All right, this is a 2010 Arctic Cat 700 H1 fuel injected. This is like the passenger model thing. So this thing's only got, what is it showing here? Like 200 miles. <clears throat> Oh, we got 250 miles on it. Um, so story on this one, customer brought it in, said that uh, his son was driving it or something, and he tipped it, and then it ran after that, after they got tipped it back up, ran ran kind of high RPM, something funny, and shut it off, and then couldn't get the thing started again. Um, so right now, the thing, everything seems to power up, it cranks over, it sounds good, but yeah, it does not fire. So we're gonna, Tear into this thing a little bit and see if we can figure out what's going on. So we crank it over. <coughs> Nothing. So I think the first thing I always like to do is just, you know, I hear the fuel pump kick on and everything, but sometimes it's easy just to give it a prime. This is just some carb cleaner, not as potent as starting fluid. Give it a prime and see if it happens to fire on that at all. That would kind of rule out if it's a fuel issue. So still nothing there. Um, you know, the next thing would be is to kind of check spark, see if there's something funny going on. Said so they tipped it and the thing's got such little miles on it. So let's pull this spark plug out here quick. Grab my wrench. Put that. All right, pull the spark plug out here. I'm gonna check the spark. I don't think there's really any point in checking for compression too because it's such low miles and when it's cranking over there it sounds pretty normal. <clears throat> okay, spark plugs out doesn't particularly look wet or anything don't think it's flooded another thing to always kind of consider when you know when these things are tipped is to look and see if there's oil in the air box or something funny like that which the air box looked nice and dry so I don't think it got a lot of oil up there or anything like that so it wasn't on its side for very long all right so we'll crank it over here we'll check for spark And we've got really good spark. So that's not our issue. <clears throat> so sometimes with these fuel injected machines, oh, you can find a lot of weird sensor issues and stuff. Um, so this one actually, if I remember right, has a rollover sensor too. I'm gonna put the spark plug back in. Where if they tip over, there's a little sensor that will usually prevent them from starting. But most of the time when it does that, they uh, won't spark, or usually the fuel pump won't kick on. It's one of those two where it won't let it run for that reason. So get the spark plug back in here and take a look and see if we can find that rollover sensor. Most of the time they're on kind of the back of the frame somewhere like that. This thing's also not throwing any check engine codes or anything. It's a little confusing. Let's put it back on there. All right. <clears throat> Set this back off for now. Um, let's see, yeah, usually these rollover sensors kind of on the back side here somewhere. Okay, yep, that's it right there. So that's the rollover sensor. Let's just unplug this here. So really these things, they're kind of just like a little angle sensor sort of thing where if it gets to a certain degree, then it sends a specific voltage to the computer, telling the computer that the machine is upside down or on its side or something. So let's turn it back on. This should give a check engine light if it's actually operating right since I unplugged it. So let's crank it. Yeah, so there's our check engine light where the dial will spin and flashes EFI. Let's plug that back in. <clears throat> oh, 
Okay. <laughs> Set down that air box. It all looks nice and clean. No oil or anything in there. Um, so on these Arctic Cats too, so back under the seat here, this, this little plug right there, this is their diagnostic plug. Um, and there's a way to put this into a diagnostic mode, which all you really need is a paper clip. Let me grab one of those. In this case, what I'm using, this is just a little bent piece of wire. And then, so the two terminals that are closest to each other, these two right here. Jumper across those two. turn our key on this will go into a diagnostic mode okay so stored code 23 um, if there was like an active code it would say like AC and then the code number um, so yeah that, that code 23 that's actually just for the tilt sensor just for me unplugging it and stuff there so it doesn't say that's an active code but what I'm seeing here, so this little dash line, this might be part of our problem. So this little dash line, this is for the throttle position sensor. <clears throat> this is how you would adjust the throttle position sensor on these Arctic Cats. You plug that little wire in there, and then basically you would adjust the throttle position sensor where that line should be right about at like the middle of like the S. So right now that it's above that, it says that we're out of adjustment. So normally if I would like push in the throttle, you would see this line go up to where it's at right now and then return back down to the middle. Um, so this is telling me that our throttle position sensor is out of adjustment. Um, but the fact that this thing was rolled over and the guy was saying it was kind of revving real high after it was uh, rolled kind of makes me think that maybe this throttle is kind of stuck or something, which let me look at this a little closer. <clears throat> so honestly, it feels kind of tight there. So like, this is, let's see here. This would be like adjustment for slack on it. And honestly, I think what's going on here is this cable is pinched. Let me see here. Because that should be, that little silver piece should be kind of more, oh, there we go. Down in there like that. Oh, and then look at that. So I just popped that back in there, and now that dash line are turned back to the middle. So we'll slide that back over. Just shut this off. Let's see, yeah, I still got my spark plug and hooked back up. So we're still that diagnostic mode here. So now when I pull my throttle in, see that goes up, release it, it goes back down. Let's see if it'll start. Okay, so the throttle just got stuck when the guy tipped it. So that kind of seems to be our only issue here. Sweet. Yeah, so the throttle was stuck open and then wasn't allowing it to start. Even though we were getting sparks and fuel and everything else, I think the computer was just kind of screwed up reading from the throttle position sensor and saying that it didn't want to start. So. All right, I think we're fixed, easy enough.